Hi guys, this is Step Up. So I had an interesting dream last night that was a bit confusing at first, but upon prayer and um, waiting on the Lord to reveal the mystery of this dream, the Holy Spirit of God gave me the revelation. And it's interesting and encouraging, so I feel led to share it with you guys also. So in my dream, I was in my home and I had an unexpected visitor and it was a man who was court, who was supposedly interested in courting me and I kind of didn't really know about this, but I was open to it um, and so I allowed him to court me, but it was unexpected. And I wasn't, I had some of my um, understanding that I do in my um, waking life. So um, this dream was significant because it pulled in some aspects of my waking life and then other things that I did not foresee. So in my waking life, I uh, have no relationship, no dating. I'm not doing that at all, um, nor seeking that. Um so this is why this dream stood out to me. And that's why I prayed on it because I felt led by the spirit to do so because it felt like the Lord was giving me a message through this particularly odd dream that I received. So anyways, so in this dream, after he was courting me in my home, he said to me, um, I would like to drink some wine now. And I thought that was very unusual. So uh, he was seeking wine and I told him I didn't have any wine at this time that I gave up drinking wine, but he would have to go. Um, and I apologized that I didn't have wine and I said he would have to go um, so he said, well, he offered to go buy some wine for us to share. Um, and his, in the unusual part about this is he brought his parents with him for this courtship or dating or this date that we were experiencing at my house. So his mother and father were there and they were very encouraging of the relationship and they were offering to help assist getting the wine and providing this um, special experience that we were all going to share in this union. So it was very interesting and then I woke up. So this was very interesting dream because it it's reminiscent of some of the scriptures and symbolic meaning behind the wine and wedding uh, of Cana in the Bible. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me that what this is representing is the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ is ready now to drink and receive his first fruits, the new wine offering at the wedding supper of the lamb. So this particular character who was courting me represented Christ. And that's what he does. He courts us um, to enter into a relationship, a personal relationship with him. So this is symbolic of that with me. And also uh, he is not alone. He comes with the father and the Holy spirit uh, to accomplish this relationship and personal um, uh, bond that we are supposed to experience when we come to Christ and full faith, saving faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So it's a form of submission that we are called upon to submit, submit ourselves in all our ways to the Lord so He can create this close bond and make our path straight 
and so that we can stay on the narrow path. So anyways, I wanted to show you some things that I found very encouraging. So this is pointing to the Last Supper. So these were fulfilled in the spring. So we are waiting for the second fulfillments to happen for his second coming. And actually they mirror his first coming. So they will be in like manner. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit more. Excuse me. Okay. So at the wedding supper of... The uh, sorry, at the Last Supper, this is what the Lord promised us. And while they were eating and drinking, he took the bread and blessed it. And he broke it and gave it to them and said, Take this is my body. Take it. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them. And they all drank from it. And he said, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. And then he went on to say, I tell you, I will not drink again of the fruit of this vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. So this is what the dream was representing, that the Lord Jesus Christ is ready to drink the new wine, the first fruits of his work, his works. His, uh, you know, in the union of the the church and the bridegroom, the the bride and the bridegroom is upon us now. So he's saying and showing that he's ready to drink the new wine together with us in his father's kingdom at the wedding supper of the lamb. So in my dream, he was going to go get the wine for the supper, the blessing, the, the, the wedding supper, the celebration. And that's why the father and the mother was there um, representing God the Father and the Holy Spirit. And we were all one. So we were united in my home. Okay? So um, this is representing that we're upon that time. Now we're going to transition from our earthly homes to our heavenly home. And that we are going to be united as one in one spirit with the Father and the Holy Spirit and the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at the wedding supper of the Lamb. So we're this celebration is now upon us. Okay? So this is really encouraging. And as I said, this represents in the Bible the wedding at Cana. So this is revealing more about the timing of our departure. That indeed we are in the season, we can leave any moment. But I wanted to share this with you for encouragement of that, but also to keep you vigilantly watching because that's what the Lord wants us to do is to watch and wait on the Lord um, and, and be vigilant because he could appear at any moment. And that our watching refines us so that we are pure even as he is. So that is the blessed hope. So at the wedding feast in the village of Cana, Jesus performed his first miracle. When the, the wine ran out, Jesus' mother asked him to do something about it. Jesus asked the servants to fill six stone jars with water, representing the 6,000 years. And give it to the guests. When they drank it, they all agreed that it was the best wine they had ever tasted. So this is the miracle he turned water into wine. Okay, so this is again representing the last supper, but it's representing the new wine, the cup he hasn't drank of yet, which is the last cup, the cup of the consummation. And so this will happen when we are united with him in heaven uh, with the Father and the Holy Spirit and the Son at the wedding supper of the Lamb, where we will drink the first fruits, uh, be his first fruits, and drink of the new wine um, there. 
So this is interesting because I did have a dream a while back for people who have followed me. If you remember for a while, uh, a while back, I had a dream where I was taken by a figure that represented Christ to the father, which was a king. And he wanted to drink the new wine with me. Okay. And so he poured out water and it turned into wine in my dream so it was representing the miracle of christ but it was also representing the kingship of christ becoming the suffering servant into a king um, so he's coming as a lion not as a lamb he came first as a lamb to sacrifice himself for the sins of of, our, of the world as an offering to cover uh our, our sins through re faith and repentance but also now he's coming secondly as a lion to reign and rule with a rod of iron so this is representing him taking his kingship at the wedding supper of the lamb which is the um pattern of uh the passover dinner so this is the second passover in a way so this is the passover that we are going to experience it's not going to be on earth it's going to be on heaven and interestingly enough this is shadowed also in the fall uh feasts or the second feast the second coming feasts now when i was drinking in this dream when i was drink going to drink the water he said it was nothing that I've ever tasted. So this is not of earth. This is pointing to the new wine and the water of life that we are going to receive, okay, through the blood sacrifice. Um, and also, um, when I was going to drink this water, the figure representing Jesus kept saying, it's a 40 ouncer, it's a 40 ouncer, it's a 40 ouncer, repeating and repeating so I would not forget. So I knew there was a count of 40 that I had to pay attention to within wine, the water of life, the wedding supper, the Passover, the... Um, <laughs> And also, if you've been following me, one of the first things that I was pointed to was Aquarius, which is the water bearer. So I'm getting ahead of myself here because I'm getting excited, but I want to show you these things. So the 40 ounces is the count to freedom, but um, I also been told that be by an angel of the Lord, an audible word, there will be three departures. First are the wise who will shine bright, second are the righteous, and third the voice called, cut out. So the wise are the first fruits, and this the second is the righteous not long after, which is a great multitude, okay? Um, so you can study that. That's found throughout the word. I've gone over different studies in the past in my videos, but it's something you need to pray on and study in order to up understand and see it and have God reveal it to you. But you need to pray with an open heart, okay? And study with an open heart. Um, so the 40 ounce to freedom. So we see that, interestingly enough, right now, uh, the to be of is on the 15th of Av, which is the 15th of August to the 16th of August, the, August this year. So that's another high watch. And I've shared before uh, that watch time. And we've looked at it before and discussed it before. And other people are discussing these things too, because the spirit is revealing the truths of God um, that are important for us to know, right? And it's all leading to our departure and his, uh, his um, second coming and his a ruling as king so the to be of is the day of love and marriages i'm not going to discuss it too much because there's a lot on that already i've discussed it before so you can look up that but on your own but specifically with the 40 ounces and the wine it's actually a count from to be of uh to uh yom kippur is the 40 day count so again we've looked at the past with Passover and the 40-day count to the Ascension and, um, you know, and the 50-day count to Passover. So that's important. So that could be replicated now in the fall, and that could be the second coming that we're looking for. But again, we have to watch every day, be vigilant to repent and to strive to be holy as he is holy every day. Um, and pray that you're found worthy to escape all these things to come to stand before the Son of Man, because indeed, um, 
we do not know the day or hour. The Lord's revealed that to us. It's in his word. It's clear. But we can watch so that we are not taken unaware. And we know that we are in the season. Okay, so his arrival is soon and imminent. And so with this 40-day count leading to Yom Kippur, um, so those are two days that represent engagement and a union of God and his people and uh, love and lovers or um, relationships that are um, separated by some means, uh, whether it be bound by the heavens and the earth or uh, by intermarriage. So this is representing the blessing that God allows on these two particular days for that. So this is what the 40 answer was pointing to, but also all these things are coming together and together for me now, which is the Passover watch time, which is the 40 day uh, that I was given, which is the water to wine, the wedding supper, uh, which is the, um, which is the sign of Jonah, which is the count of repentance, uh, till judgment, which is, um, leading to the day of the Lord, right? Which uh, in a way represents um, Yom Kippur, which is called the day of the Lord. So, you know, I don't know how they're going to co coincide on our calendar or which calendar specifically, but I want to let you know that this is, uh, this dream is a sign of this en encouragement for these times. And the interesting thing is that our full moon in Aquarius, here I'll share with you, is on August 15th. It is, is actually aligned in the heavens astronomically with Aquarius. So the full moon is actually located in Aquarius for the 14th and 15th um, today and tomorrow. So that is interesting in itself. So again, when I was pointed to the water bearer, I knew it represented Aquarius. And I knew that this represents us on our journey to the promised land, to the wedding supper of the lamb, because this is what the water bearer does. And that's re represented uh, biblically in the Bible. So this is just a quick um, uh, here just to show you astronomically how it lines up with the sign of Aquarius here. OK, so that's pointing to it right there. OK. But this is what, in the Bible, the, the sign of Aquarius, this is the water bearer. So it's leading us into the supper. So here in Luke 22, 10, the, uh, leading us into the su su wedding supper of the Lamb is the water bearer, which is leading us into the Passover. It's the same thing. It's the picture of that. Okay. So he replied, Jesus replied and said, as you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters. So that was the preparation for the wedding supper. So again, this is what my dream is representing. It's confirming the Lord is ready to receive us and for the union of um, the bride of Christ and the lamb, the wedding supper of the lamb to occur. Um, and is gathering the first fruits unto himself. So where he is, there will we will always be. And so this wedding supper, the wine into the water, the 40 days, um, you know, and it could be any day now. But this is a high watch, very high watch from now until, well, you know, onward, but particularly these 40 days, uh, you know, culmi culminating on Yom Kippur. But, you know, please, please be vigilant and, and re a true heartfelt repentance in these days that we have. Because these, these 40 days actually represent um, prayer and repentance. It's all about that. So this is when the Lord wants to see most his people submitting themselves and humbling themselves before him, serving his will and not their own. Okay, that is what trust is. And that's what the Lord Jesus wants. He wants us to trust him fully and completely to choose his will and not ours to know that he has given us all and that we are nothing of ourselves. Um, you know, so. This, this is what we need to remember at this time, but also I want you guys to be encouraged. 
So this is what this dream represents. So now I see everything coming together at this time of Tubiyam to Yom Kippur. I see uh, the replication of the supper of the Lamb leading to uh, leading to the the finality of the the wedding supper of the Lamb. I see the the consummation. I see the um, unity. Uh, I see the repentance. Um, I see grace and judgment. I see um, that the Lord Jesus Christ is ready now to receive his first fruits. Okay? So this is an imminent event. But these signs are here to keep us watching and encourage us for that day as we see it approaching. Also, I wanted to mention, I didn't pull up a clip for this, but it just, the Lord reminded me of this now. In the Song of Solomons, this is when the, the bridegroom um, comes for his bride because in the song it talks about the smell, the sweet smell that the grapes give off and that's when he will give and that's when the bride promises to give her love to him is when the sweet smell of grapes and that time is only starting at to be off because that's the beginning, a general marker for the beginning of the grape harvest so this is a peculiar time where we see the transition of the wheat harvest into the grape harvest, but we don't know exactly how the Lord will play everything out. And remember, if there is any delay each day, it's given by the grace of God to save those who are perishing because he's willing that no one shall perish. Okay, that's the love he has for us. So, you know, remember that each day that, you know, we go without our Lord's appearing because it's not for just our own sake, but for the benefit of others, okay, that more should, should be saved. So I encourage you to pray for the salvation of all the last of his sheep. You know, this way, whatever needs to be done can be done in haste quickly if we put our prayers in the proper place in submission to the Lord's will. Okay. So, guys, with that, I hope and pray that you have been encouraged by this dream uh, and this message revealed by the Holy Spirit through the dream and the scriptures that, you know, the Lord's return is imminent. He's ready to drink the wine with us in heaven He's going to get it right now to pour it out for us, the living waters, so that we can be united with him and the Father and the Holy Spirit in heaven as one, and that we will be receiving our blessings very, very soon, any day now, and to keep watching vigilantly, keep repentant, and to keep in prayer and supplication and submission to our one true Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ. Abba bless you and all your own, and may the peace of Christ be with you and all your own. Amen.